I've become uh, interested in track mats and their uses. Now, what exactly is a track mat? Well, I'll try to explain it to you. A uh, track mat is like a black and white image or an image in shades of gray. And what it is used for, okay, so you have video on one editing track and you have another video on the next trap track up and you want this video up here to be picture in picture on the lower video so you make a track mat in an art program with a little white square on a black background and you put that on the next track up and uh, then on the track that you want to go into the square you tell it to use the track mat on the track above. And bingo, all of a sudden there is a picture in picture uh, on your video. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, I wanted to know what other things you could do with track mats. Now here are a few unusual examples of what I figured out you can do with them. And I found this program on the net that was free, at least for a little while, uh, that will make a video of everything that is on your computer screen. It's really great for doing tutorials. So uh, here is my tutorial on how to do this strange shadow track mat. This is a tutorial using Premiere Elements. Uh, to show you how to use a track mat to cast realistic looking shadows. First I'm going to take this image of a wall and drag it down to video 1. I'm going to drag it out to be a little longer here. And I'm going to take it again and copy it to the next track up. And the second one I'm going to make darker. And how you do that is you go to Edit, Edit Effects, and in Image Control, you'll have Brightness, Contrast, Saturation. I'm going to take the brightness down. Oh, that's enough. And the contrast down a little bit. Very good. Now, next, we're going to take this image of a window to use as the track mat. We'll drag that on to video 3 and drag it out to the length of the files below. And this, in order for it to cast the kind of shadows we want, we have to invert it. So we'll go to Edit and find Invert. There's Invert right there. Just drag it and drop it onto the image. Good. Now we'll go back to the dark clip and now we have to attach a track mat effect to it so we go to edit and go down and find the track mat which is right here this one that looks like a heart just take it drag it on to the dark image then we'll go into edit effects and track mat uh, since this picture does not have an alpha channel we'll just choose Matt Luma 
and now we have to tell this video track where the track mat is and it's on video three now there the track mat is taking the, the dark part of the image and putting it on the light image I think if this were blurred a little bit it would look more realistic so let's go into effects and find a nice uh, Gaussian blur perhaps there it is drag that on to the track mat edit effects and blurriness will take up to maybe 25 there it makes it just a little blurry a little bit more realistic now let's add an image to this video and here I have oh, some old green screen footage of myself I'll drag down on to video 4 and I'm going to shorten this up a little bit and drag it over now we can always pull this out to match the length of the video and the first thing that we need to do is to key out the green so we highlight this track go to edit effects and go and find the green screen here it is right here and drag it onto this image now see it doesn't do too good unless you edit a little bit so let's go to green screen and bring the cutoff level up Oop. there now that's a better image now what we're going to do is well this is highlight is go up to edit and copy it wait a minute where is edit copy and move the cursor over to here and do edit paste now we'll drag this up to the next level and all you have to do is drag it up into this gray area and it will create a new track for you so we drag it up to here Come on. and then drag it over on top of the first one move down a little bit have it on video 5 now what we're going to do the same thing with this as we did with the background we're going to darken it so we'll go to image control brightness and contrast now we'll go to organize and bring in this window image again up on video 6, drag it out, do the same thing we did before uh, is first invert it whoops there it is then we go to the dark green screen uh, file and we uh, let's see, edit effects now we add uh, again the track mat okay we have the track mat on this video now and again we'll go to Luma and tell it that the track the mat is on six see now the shadow is on me but we'd like the shadow to be a little bit bigger since I am closer to the camera so we'll go to the track mat and go to motion scale and just bring it up a little bit there now let's see how our efforts came out now answer me honestly would you like to see your work here not too bad and just for fun I thought I would see if I could use some green screen footage of myself as a track mat and it took me a long time to figure out uh, but I could 
I won't try to explain how I did this to you, but here is an example of me using myself as a track map. <laughs> 